Hi, this is Queen Natural here with another tutorial. This is my straightener tutorial. If you like what you see, make sure you continue to watch. We're gonna be using today is the Aveda and Bronte Exfoliating Shampoo, my Moroccan Oil Restorative Hair Mask, a comb, and I'm gonna list this comb in the comment section below, my Aveda Smooth Infusions Glossing Straightener, my Aveda Smooth Infusion Style Prep, my Redken Anti Snap Leave In Treatment, and then my Baby Bliss Flutter with my Speed Blow Dryer. I will be listing this all below. As always, I part my hair in four sections for my blow drying process. First, you're going to start off by putting the Style Prepper for the Smooth Infusion on your hair first. It's supposed to help with detangling, which I find that it does make my hair more pliable. And then after you do that and just work that in, you're going to apply the gloss and straightener, which I'm going to show in a second. And after you, this is how much you apply. You don't need much, which is what I love about Aveda products, that you never really need much. And since I attended that school, it's like very good. So I know everything about every product there. And then next after that, you're going to apply the Red Can Anti Snap, which is basically more protein that I put in my hair just because the simple fact we're putting heat. And when you put heat in your hair, basically you're eating away at the protein. So I'm just going to detangle that and then we're going to get to blow drying. <laughs> Now to blow dry, I use a comb attachment. It just makes my blow drying process quick. Hair should look something like this once you get done blow drying. Make sure everything is dry so you won't have a risk of being heat damaged. And I'm going to be using a bristle brush for my chasing method. And I'm going to set my flat iron to the highest setting which is 50. Now just part your hair wherever you want it. And part your hair into four sections. I make a back section, a middle section, and then two separate front sections. Once you get inside, you can't change your mind. Don't mean the sun invasion, but you gotta promise, baby. Oh. Now, here I'm gonna be taking small sections, and again, I'm using my bristle brush for my chasing method. It just helps straighten my hair much better than with the comb. You're just gonna take that and chase it with the flat iron, as you can see. Show you right. Oh, before we a quick tip, I just go over my roots twice to make sure that they are straight and then I go over the section one time. I may go over two times, but I really try to just go over one section at one time. on the front just take small sections I don't really know like what measurement but you'll see just take small sections and go down on the hair shelf with the brush make sure you get your I don't know what to call those I call them taco meat <laughs> but make sure you get those with the flat iron as well Make sure you go over the root twice and then go over the hair shelf once or twice. Don't forget those taco meats. That's key to having straight hair for a black woman. <laughs>
this is the best scarf that I have ever had. I think it's actually a do-rag. I try to link this below, but this is what I use to wrap my hair at night so I can maintain this style for about a week and a half before I wash it out. All you're going to do is start by brushing your hair or combing your hair out, as you see me do, and then start wrapping it around your head at the direction, I guess, um, whichever direction you would like. And you're just going to wrap it, and sometimes I even use clips or bobby pins to hold it. And after I do that, um, I take the bobby pins out before I put the scarf on. And you're just going to see me put the scarf on and tie it. And after you tie it, you're just going to twist it around a couple of times. This also helps with keeping your ends fresh. Um, sometimes I realize that my ends sometimes look kind of in. So whenever I wrap it and leave it on overnight or for a couple of hours, it just kind of lays the hair down better as you will see in the next morning. Look, I know girls love Beyonce. Girls love to fuck with your conscience. Girls hate when niggas go missing. And shawty, you ain't no different. These days it's hard to meet women. Okay, this is the next morning. Now this, I'm getting ready for college right now. This is my first day. And your hair should basically look something like this right here. And all you're gonna do is take a feather comb or a wide tooth comb of your choice and comb it all out. Make sure you just comb it all out, get the tangles out even at the top. You know, I didn't even know that was there. And you're gonna part it and basically, you know, I just like this hand thing. I flip it like back and then I push it forward so it can take kind of like feathers in my hair. And it should look something like this. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Leave below what you would like to see next. And thank you for being here. Love you guys.